You want to analyze a financial statements and you know the grind. Digging through filings, reconciling messy exports, and chasing what really moved the needle. Today, we cut the clutter. I'll show you a streamlined prompt by prompt workflow so you stop losing hours in Excel and scattered data and get to board ready insights in minutes. With 14 precise ChatGPT prompts, you'll stop drowning in spreadsheets and get to the insights that matter in minutes. Quick solution, copy paste my prompts that extract highlights, explain drivers, separate one-time effects, compute core ratios, and generate presentation-ready visuals so you can brief leadership with confidence. Let's do the analysis. Data loading. First, we load the financial statements the Investor Relations Report, or the Trial Balance. In this example, we're using a public company, so the data is available online. Try this exact cue. I plan to give you a series of prompts for financial analysis. Load Pinterest's financial statements from Yahoo Finance and provide a summary of the income statement and balance sheet. Be concise and efficient. Keep each answer to a maximum of 200 words. No need for tables included, just give highlights, summaries, explanation, flags, recommendations, and so on. Give me visuals after analysis. First, ChatGPT reads the income statement to understand revenue, cost of goods sold, operating expenses, and profit. Then it reviewed the balance sheet for liquidity, solvency, and leverage. But let's dive in. Growth and trends. Kick off with Compare growth or decline over time, focus on the three largest items, and highlight all changes greater than 10%. Show trends, volatility, and potential reasons for the changes. Research sources and reports to identify variances and changes. ChatGPT analyzed Pinterest's income statements and highlighted trend drivers. It showed revenue growth outpacing cost of goods sold, operating efficiency improvements, and a non-recurring tax effect distorting net income. It flagged volatility risks and offered practical recommendations on monetization focus, seasonality monitoring, and tracking regional average revenue per user. All right, let's move on. Projections and estimates. Drive the analysis with, can you research estimates of future growth? Provide projected revenues, as well as other key income statement indicators based on expert and industry analysts. ChatGPT compiles expert forecasts showing projected revenue growth and improving profitability. It explains the drivers behind the outlook, highlights seasonality and advertising market risks, separates one-time tax effects from ongoing performance, and recommends tracking user growth, average revenue per user, and operating expense discipline to validate progress. Profitability analysis. Next, deploy. Can you examine the gross margin? Provide a complete analysis of the gross margin, how it moves, the reasons for its increase or decrease, and what the plan is if one exists. Provide a comparison against competitors. Give me the same analysis for the net margin. Give me the same analysis for the free cash flow margin. Gross margin improved as infrastructure costs fell, at relevance rose, and partners sent higher intent traffic. Watch video mix and partner costs. Net margin strengthened as revenue outpaced spending, but one-time tax items blur view. Judge progress by operating profit and cash. Free cash flow grew with spending discipline and a capital light model. Versus peers. Leaner than content heavy platforms below large networks. Let's continue. Cost structure. Go deeper using, can you now perform an analysis of the cost structure? What are the highlights? Then describe the positives, negatives, and suggestions for improvement. Pinterest's cost structure is trending leaner. Gross margin improves as infrastructure gets cheaper and ad quality rises. Sales and marketing and general and administrative show operating leverage. Research and development is focused on shopping and artificial intelligence. Risks are ad pricing and partner costs. Priorities. Optimize partner mix. Prove research returns and sustain efficiency. Liquidity. Prompt like this. 
calculate current ratio and quick ratio, show cash ratio and months of operating expenses covered by cash. How many months can operations run from cash only? Cash burn cover. Liquidity is very strong and improving. Current and quick ratios are high, reflecting minimal working capital friction. Cash alone covers about five months of operating expenses. Cash plus securities covers roughly 11 months. This cushions seasonality and ad market swings. Keep receivables tight, tie research and marketing spend to milestone payback and reassess buybacks against a minimum liquidity policy. Leverage. Advance the workflow via Calculate debt to equity ratio and net debt to EBITDA ratio and assess risk versus thresholds. Calculate interest coverage and draft comment. Show debt maturities by year and next 12 months. What are the key red flags identified? Leverage is essentially zero with a net cash position. Interest income exceeds expense. Coverage risk is negligible. No debt maturities in the next year, only routine lease payments. Refinancing risk is minimal. Monitor leases and any future draws. Let's move on. EBITDA. Sharpen the view with Calculate EBITDA and adjusted EBITDA. Calculate EBITDA margin by period. Highlight trend. Identify non-recurring items and impact on margins. Compare with peers. Adjusted operating performance is strengthening. EBITDA turned positive as efficiency improved. Adjusted EBITDA rose steadily, reflecting better mix, lower funnel ads, and partner-driven conversions. One-time items distorted prior accepted accounting principles results, but not the adjusted trend. Versus peers, profitability is improving, but below the largest platforms. Discipline and payback focus should extend gains. Networking capital and efficiency. Validate and extend using. Calculate networking capital per formula. Account receivables. Plus inventory minus account payables and give your comments and highlights shortly. Calculate networking capital to sales ratio shows trends. Calculate days, sales outstanding, days inventory outstanding, days payables outstanding and give comments. They flag outliers. Any recommendation to improve efficiency? ChatGPT says net working capital stays positive and stable, driven by large receivables and quick vendor payments. Collection time is longer than peers, while payables are short. Efficiency can improve by tightening credit terms, automating billing, and extending vendor payment cycles slightly to balance liquidity and strengthen cash conversion. Capital efficiency. Finish strong with, calculate return on invested capital and compare with weighted average cost of capital. Give your comment on this. Calculate return on equity and return on assets and give comments. Show asset turnover and capital intensity with calculating and explaining ratios. Capital expenditures to sales, property plant and equipment to sales. ChatGPT says returns are improving but still below the cost of capital. The company earns less than investors require, though trends are positive. Equity and asset returns look high due to one-time tax effects. Operations are capital light with low investment needs and strong scalability once profitability stabilizes and margins expand. Operating cash flow analysis. Try this exact cue. Analyze operating cash flow versus net income, trend and variances. Reconcile net income and cash flow from operations via indirect method. Quantify contributions from net working capital, account receivables, inventories and account payable, non-cash items, depreciation and provisions, and one-offs. End with a one-sentence takeaway. Calculate free cash flow and give you commentary. Operating cash flow nearly doubled, even though net income was inflated by a one-time tax item. Non-cash charges like share base pay and depreciation added cash, while growing receivables reduced it. Free cash flow stayed strong, thanks to low capital spending and disciplined operations, confirming sustainable, self-funded growth momentum. Benchmarking with peers. 
Kick off with Compare key performances with industry peers. Create a comparison table and give your assessment below. Pinterest's gross margin rivals Meta's, showing strong cost control. Its net margin appears high only because of a one-time tax gain. Core returns like return on invested capital and return on assets remain below leaders. Meta delivers steady high profitability, while Snap still runs at a loss. Pinterest must boost operational returns to close the gap. Commentary and summaries. Prompt like this. All in all, write an executive summary, five to seven sentences. Growth, margins, highlights, debt, free cash flow. Summarize top five positives and top five risks. Propose a 30-day and 90-day action plan for improvements. ChatGPT says Pinterest continues to grow steadily with strong margins and solid cash flow. Gross margin is near top industry levels, and free cash flow generation confirms a scalable, capital light model. The balance sheet remains debt free and liquid. Returns are improving, but still below peers. Priorities strengthen monetization, improve receivables, and sustain efficiency for higher long term returns. Visuals Go deeper using this prompt. Create visuals like revenue and profit movements, gross and net margin movements, cost structure, asset structure, networking capital, cash flows, and other relevant visuals. Here are the visuals showing Pinterest's financial performance, revenue and profit movement, margin trends, cost and asset structure, working capital, and cash flow. But honestly, these visuals are quite basic. If you want big four-level dashboards and storytelling visuals, my suggestion is to build them in GenSpark. In my next video, I will show you how GenSpark can help you create professional presentation-ready finance dashboards with automation and design quality that Excel and PowerPoint alone cannot match. Follow my channel for more lessons on using AI in finance and making your analysis look truly board-ready. Subscribe for more AI-powered finance playbooks and board-ready storytelling.